today we'll be talking about Alaska, so make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos on places that are somewhere someplace in the world. Really, I highly encourage it. Like, encourage in the United States. So anyways, if you look at a world map, you may notice that Alaska is a little bit off, in the way that it nearly definitely should be a part of this place, but isn't. But you see, the first Europeans to claim Alaska were actually not the guys who owned this, but in fact the Russians from the Russian Federation, who originally called this place Russian America. And we're really almost definitely almost maybe possibly fond of it. That is, until they lost the Crimean War and began to rethink some of their territorial ambitions. You see, Russia's defeat made them realize a few things. Number one, their fleet was really not very good at all and most definitely would lose a future conflict with the United Kingdom or anyone else who had a single boat. This made protecting overseas colonies such as Russia and America quite difficult. This wouldn't be a get rid of the Russia and America moment on its own, but when coupled with the fact that Russian America was cold and relatively poor, and the fact that the Russian Empire was looking to reform its economics, it all began to make sense why they were looking for a buyer. Now the obvious contender was Great Britain, who already owned Canada and would have easily been able to afford the purchase, but Britain already had enough of North America, and Russia wasn't keen on a fellow European colonial rival being so close to their borders, so talks were begun with the United States of America, of which Russia saw a friend who they would never ever have any future tensions with. Fantastic. Unfortunately, however, they were busy with their civil war, but would eagerly return to the table following the end of their conflict. So if the United States prepared to buy Alaska in 1867, the deal would be struck, with the American public thinking the deal was pretty good. Alaska would be under military rule for a long period of time whilst the federal government was busy continuing the Russian policy of committing very serious war crimes against native populations, but would ultimately be accepted into the Union as the 49th state on January 3, 1959 by President Dwight D. Eisenhower, becoming the state that we know today. For more videos that slay, make sure to subscribe to the channel.